there's quite a few people who are recording rock art now. There wasn't when we started, which was 30 some years ago. We went to the New Mexico Archaeological Society yeah. had a field school, and uh, so we went there to learn how to record and to help record. And one of the field schools was in Chaco. We were here for eight years. Well, one week yeah. for um, eight years, and that's how we got started. Mm -hmm. And then I think people went out from that field school, and also there were some people in California that were recording at the time. And slowly, um, more people got involved. And <clears throat> maybe I should say this. Um, <laughs> no, say. Um, archaeologists at the time did not pay any attention to the rock art because they couldn't date it and they couldn't get anything factual about it. So the recording of it was taken on by um, avocational people, and which I am also. And then it slowly got more and more and more. But I decided to have a field school in Arizona, or I was asked to run a rock art field school in Arizona for the Arizona Archaeological Society. And we, we had this for 10 years, and we trained a lot of people. And a lot of people from that school have gone out and recorded. Um, nowadays, the, some archaeologists are working at recording rock art, documenting rock art. Um, there's a little bit more recognition of the importance of rock art, and therefore there are funds available. There are a few funds available, and the archaeologists can add this to their um, their their jobs. So there are some that are doing it. Um, as far as the universities are concerned, uh, there's no universities that I know that are recording rock art. There's one, I think it's the University of Kentucky, maybe, or around that area. And I think they have done some recording back east. Um, we now have, there have been, people have worked with rock art at UCLA, but I don't think there was ever a specific class. There was one professor who taught it in a class. Uh, in Arizona, we, in Arizona, we now have um, two universities that include rock art in their curriculum and their anthropology curriculum at the um, Arizona State University and uh, Northern Arizona University. Um, and there are a number of students who are doing doctoral work and thesis work uh, here at uh, at UNM. And at some other places. Do you uh, do you want to uh, talk a little bit about the difficulties of doing this kind of work in terms of raising money, and that uh, it, that uh, is it is it competitive? Or is there just not that much money around to to finance your work, or or what 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 is the status of your financial side of doing this kind of work? Well, mostly we do volunteer work. We were, um, the first year that we worked in Chaco, we did it because we just asked if we could do it. And then they liked our work, and so they asked us if we'd come back. Uh, and I asked, well, I don't, you know, I'm a retired person, and I don't have that much money. Can you pay for part of it? And so the park gave us some funds to work with, and they provided us with housing, and uh, at least covered our expenses. And then the park ran into some difficulty, and they suggested we go to the Western National Parks Association. Um, who, those are the people who uh, run the bookstores in many of the national parks in the West. And we wrote some proposals, and we were very lucky in getting quite a number of grants from them. But they need to spread out and give grants to different people, and they had given us a, a lot. And so they said, no more grants. So we're, then the park was able to help us one or two times, 
And then we also did a second project. Uh, the Navajo Nation asked us to record in Chaco Canyon outside of the park. And we worked with that last year, and they had funds for that. They ran out of funds also. So now we're just uh, volunteering our work. We have a lot of expenses with film. Uh, one of our photographers covers his film um, for us, which is which is a um, which is very good. And but the other things I basically have to pay for out of your own pocket. Out of my own pocket. Oh wow. Okay.